let's talk about how much protein you should be eating if you have kidney disease. Whether you have stage one chronic kidney disease or you're on dialysis, this is important for you. And make sure to watch through the end of this video so you can learn how to estimate your protein needs and some special considerations that may apply to you. So in general, the most summed up way I can say this is people with chronic kidney disease that are not on dialysis need to limit their protein intake or avoid excessive intake, and people that are on dialysis need to eat more protein. This is because the kidneys have to filter waste products that are produced from protein metabolism. So high protein diets can create more waste and therefore more work for the kidneys. When someone is on dialysis though, the process of dialysis itself is inflammatory and contributes to protein and muscle loss. So that's why protein needs are higher for people that are on dialysis. Of course, working one-to-one -one with a renal dietitian is going to be the best way to determine what your individual protein needs are, but I want to at least give some general guidance to get you on the right track. And when we talk about estimating protein needs and numbers, we're talking in grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And this is important to remember because it can be easily confused. We're not multiplying your weight in pounds um, to figure out your protein needs. It's your weight in kilograms. If you're not used to your weight in kilograms, all you do is take your weight in pounds and divide it by 2.2. So if you weigh 150 pounds, take 150, divide that by 2.2, and you get 68.18 kilograms. So you're going to use that number in kilograms to plug into the following equations. And as I walk through these numbers, it's really important to keep in mind that if you are underweight or you're very overweight or obese, you may need to use an adjusted body weight so that you don't overestimate or underestimate what your protein needs are. So let's dive into how much protein you need if you have kidney disease. So let's start with people who have stage one or two chronic kidney disease. The recommendation is pretty in line with what the RDA is for the general population, which is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And the recommendation is around there, but overall to avoid excessive protein intake. Um, excessive protein intake for someone with kidney disease is anything over 1.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So let's use that 150 pound person or 68.18 kilogram person as an example. So if we take that 68.18, multiply that by 0.8, then we get about 55 grams of protein per day that they should be consuming. And if we want to know what the excessive end is of protein that they want to avoid, then we take their weight in kilograms, 68.18, and we times it by that 1.3 um, grams of protein per kilogram. And so that gives us they should be avoiding um, anything over 89 grams of protein per day would be considered excessive. So for people with stage three to five chronic kidney disease that are not on dialysis, the general recommendation is 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So it's a little bit more restrictive. So that same 150 pound person, their weight in kilograms, 68.18. Then we take that um, 0.6 times 68.18 and 0.8 times 68.18 to get a range of anywhere from 41 grams of protein per day up to 55 grams of protein per day. As I mentioned earlier, the recommendation for people on dialysis is to actually consume higher protein. Um, so whether someone's on peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis, the recommendation is 1 to 1 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So that 150 pound person, that's 68.18 kilograms, take that, multiply it by 1 to 1 1.2, and then we get a range of anywhere from 68 to 82 grams of protein per day is what they would need. Now, there are also cases where you wouldn't want to go as low in protein in the earlier stages. So in stages of one to three kidney disease. So especially in older populations, so people with chronic kidney disease stage one to three that are over 60, but especially over 75 years old, restricting protein intake may not be as beneficial since they have you know, less severe, they have more moderate or even um, non-moderate kidney disease. And 
because they're older, they're at a higher risk of losing muscle mass, higher risk of falls, um, and other things like that. So in this population, avoiding excessive protein intake is still important, but you definitely wouldn't need to be going as low. There's actually a new study that came out that looked at this older population over 60 and over 75 years old, and the mortality rate was lower in chronic kidney disease stage one to three that ate a higher protein diet. So it's important to remember though, the study didn't look at people with severe kidney disease. So it didn't look at this older population, but they were stage four or five um, with severe kidney disease. Typically we're still doing lower protein diets um, and finding them to be more beneficial in preserving kidney function in this population, but there's a lot of things that do need to be taken into account. And there's other situations where you might not want to go as low. Maybe you have other health conditions like cancer or something else where you wouldn't do um, a low protein diet or depending on your body size or your exercise, things like that, you might want to adjust that protein intake. But overall across the stages, um, dialysis, higher protein needs, not on dialysis, typically lower protein needs, and then adjust based on these special considerations. And remember that individuals should always be taken into account in all of these situations. A renal dietitian can help determine which body weight do you use, how much protein can, to consume, where does that protein come from, what other macro and micronutrients need to be considered. Um, if you think about it, if we lower protein, then carbs or fat have to go up. And so there's a balance there. And regardless of total protein intake, whether it's higher or it's lower, minimally processed plant proteins like beans, lentils, tofu, tempeh, nuts, and seeds are still easier on the kidneys and provide additional benefits to kidney health when they replace animal protein. So if you're looking for more resources and support and guidance on determining your specific kidney nutrition needs or to learn how much protein is actually in the different foods that you're eating, go to the resources page on my website, plantbasedkidneys.com. I'll include the links in the notes section of this video as well, but I have kidney specific recipes, freebies. I have an e-cookbook. I have an e-guide and it provides the nutrition info, including protein for hundreds of different plant foods and teaches you how to make meals with those foods in easy and tasty. Ways. I'm Michelle Krosmer. I'm a renal dietitian here to help you protect your kidney health and preserve kidney function. Please like, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with anyone that you know that it would be helpful for. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.